continent of Antaria, ancestral home of many civilizations. Here, a conflict between 12 gods and 13 dark gods has raged for generations. The Gaesir Empire annexes the dark god worshippers, forming the Dark Armor Alliance. Standing against the Dark Armor is the Silver Arrow Alliance, worshippers of the Twelve Gods, united by the Kingdom of Pandragon. In the midst of a prolonged war, the King of the Gaesir Empire meets his end. The Dark Prince, heir of the Gaesir Empire, surges the Dark Armor towards victory. With exceptional leadership and combat prowess, However, the forces under the Silver Arrow banner continue their resistance against the Dark Prince's attacks. Year 1202, Esgil Calendar. The armies of the Dark Armor and Silver Arrow clash in a final battle. And so the Dark Prince conquered the Kingdom of Pandragon and his forces spread like a plague across Antaria until the Dark Prince's disappearance, following a mysterious airship crash. Five years later, the surviving heir of the Pandragon royal family, Princess Eolan, gathers allies to reclaim her lost kingdom. The continent of Antaria, ancestral home of many civilizations, here, a conflict between 12...
not sure how strong it is. Give it a strike? A skeleton has appeared! Let Eolan attack the skeleton for more damage. It's because... All heroes have types with strengths and weaknesses in battle. Eolan is a water type, and the skeleton is a fire type. Thus, Eolan has a type advantage. Hmm, it's kind of hard, huh? Look at the arrow above the enemy's level, and it should be easy to understand. Strike as you please from now on, Admiral. Slash! Slash!
Was refreshing. Tell me what's up. You look so busy. Rashid, we arrived at the Bifrost while you were asleep. Really? Do Sis and GS know about it? Of course. They even went on an expedition while you were resting. Th then I better get ready to go greet my sister and GS. Now that Prince Rashid is awake, battle should be a piece of cake. Yeah! 